Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be hanging out here in Griffin, Georgia. I'm gonna be giving you a tour of downtown Griffin, walking through the downtown square. And then I'm gonna give you some pros and cons of living here in Griffin, Georgia. Um, so definitely you wanna stay tuned throughout the whole video. Go ahead and smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, if this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Raymond, and I am a real estate broker here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, and I work with buyers and sellers alike that are looking to purchase a property here in the Atlanta metropolitan area, um, as well as making Savannah, Columbus, and Augusta, Georgia. So definitely feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's begin this video. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to walk you around this downtown square of uh, Griffin, Georgia. Uh, before I do that, let me give you some statistics about Griffin, Georgia real quick so you can understand exactly uh, what Griffin, Georgia, well, you know, where it's located and uh, some of the things about Griffin, Georgia. So, okay, first things first, Griffin, Georgia is located about 38.3 miles south of downtown Atlanta with a population of uh, exactly 22,606 residents. Uh, un honestly, there has been a negative growth rate here in uh, Griffin, Georgia by 0.30% um, year over year uh, negative growth here in Griffin, Georgia. So we're gonna talk about some of those things as to what could be affecting uh, the growth rate here in Griffin. Why is it negative? Why is it not becoming positive um, and why I still think that Griffin is a sure bet uh, if you're looking for an up and coming city. We're gonna talk about that here as well. Uh, give you some more statistics. Uh, Griffin, Georgia is 56% black, 40.5% uh, white, 1.25% Asian, 1.49% two or more races, 0.56% other race, and 0.19% Native American. So. That is the uh, racial demographics of the city of Griffin. Average household income here in Griffin is $53,503. The median age in Griffin, Georgia is 33 years old. The ownership rate in Griffin is only 36.4%. Uh, and the rental rate is 63.6%. So that is an overwhelming uh, breakdown between ownership and rental, uh, which we're gonna talk about in the pros and cons as well. So definitely stick throughout the whole video. The medium home listing price here in Griffin, Georgia is 220,000, well below the uh, metropolitan average. And the uh, public school system here in Griffin is Spalding, well, Griffin, Spalding County Public Schools. And it is not ranked amongst the top five here in the metro. Um, and yes, Griffin, Georgia is amongst the metropolitan area of Atlanta, uh, just on the end cuffs, just on the end, but it is, yes, a part of the Atlanta metropolitan area. I know I'm gonna get some people in the comments saying, man, Raymond, Griffin ain't a part of Atlanta. You're right. Griffin is not Atlanta, Georgia. Griffin is Griffin, Georgia, which is a Atlanta metropolitan suburb. Let's get into, let's get into the walk into it. Let me show you around Griffin, Georgia. We're gonna walk from, uh, the intersection of North Hill and Broad Street, if you will. Um, and we're gonna walk back up towards the City Hall. Uh, this downtown area is pretty large, so uh, definitely I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm gonna have it in real time because I want you to see what is around. And I'm gonna do my best to get different angles and different shots across the street, etc., etc. So you can see what is nearby here in Griffin, uh, Georgia. So without further ado, Let's get in a walking tour and then up towards the city hall, up towards this way. We'll talk about the pros and cons of living here in Griffin, Georgia. So if you have not done so already, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about Griffin, Georgia so far. Let me know what you think about the, uh, the uh, demographics and the statistics as of now. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Though 
I wasn't looking for much. Checking out the scene. Wasn't trying to get my numbers up. You know I keep it cool. I prefer to stay in the cut. Don't want no attention on me. When I'm trying to shake the blues up off me. But then I saw your face. It caused my heart to race. Girl, you're looking like a million bucks. Something about the way you strut your stuff. Oh, girl, you're fine as you wanna. What I'm supposed to do. Something told me got it. Funny thing about love, when it comes and goes, you never know. So, you gotta keep your heart exposed, and you can be sure there's no cause and no cure. And if it wants you, uh, oh, it'll come and find you. Uh, fall back just a little, don't wanna lead you on, don't wanna push your feeling and make the feeling go. See, I got your number, but still I ain't used the phone, no. I let it breathe for a minute, baby. Next thing I know, you call. Damn. One thing I know about love. You never know when it's coming, but you sure know it when it does. Yeah. One thing I know about love. You might get what you ask for. So you better be sure it's what you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, funny thing about that.
for somebody new But she will never love you like I do My foolish heart don't want to say goodbye But I ain't got no tears to cry All right, guys, so let's jump into the pros and cons of living here in Griffin, Georgia. I am standing in the J. William Edwards Pavilion, um, literally flanked beside the Spalding County Courthouse and uh, the old um, uh, city hall, historic city hall. Yeah, the historic city hall uh, here for Griffin, Georgia. So without further ado, we're going to jump into the pros and cons of living here. I got my handy dandy notes, so let's jump into it. And as I told you, that walk-in area was going to be long. Uh, Griffin, Georgia is a fairly, the downtown square is pretty long. It's very, very long. Uh, a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. Um, and overall, for a city of 22,000, there is a nice little heartbeat right downtown uh, Griffin, Georgia. Uh, as you're walking through, they do have speakers uh, playing, you know, traditional music, radio music, uh, current hits, current music. Uh, so it's a really tranquil feeling walking downtown uh, Griffin, Georgia. Probably a little bit more than you would anticipate, especially with the size of the city. So, so let's go ahead and jump into the pros and cons of living here in Griffin, Georgia. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start out with the pros. Uh, I'm gonna try to have a seat here on one of the benches um, or maybe I'll sit under this little uh, awning here I don't want it to be too dark uh, but I don't also don't want it to be too bright all right yeah this is comfortable this is nice this is nice I uh, got the view of the historic city hall in front of me uh, real nice all right so let's jump into the pros of living here in Griffin the first pro in my opinion is the affordability of Griffin Georgia uh, as I said in the opening of this video, the uh, average or the medium listing price here in Griffin, Georgia is $220,000, which is significantly lower than the Atlanta Metropolitan Average of three seventy-five. dollars uh, So you get a significant uh, cost savings uh, with uh, looking into Griffin, Georgia. All right. Over the years, also in addition to that, over the years, the outskirts of Griffin have become a very desirable. A lot of building, a lot of uh, growth in the outskirts of the city limits of Griffin. So we're going to talk about that as well within our other uh, pros. But uh, definitely affordability all around. Uh, all right. So pro number two is going to be the choice of scenery. So here in Griffin, Georgia, as you saw with walking through this is an urban city right you have traffic you have people walking you have shops restaurants uh very urban i can take you about seven miles east and seven miles west of this downtown city center and all you see is rolling hills and livestock so in griffin it is very unique you can actually get a choice of scenery whether if you want to be more inner city have that urban feel or if you want the rural scenery out in the countryside. So Griffin is unique in that respect. Um, you get that choice. 
Pro number three is Griffin is just easy going. It's an easy going area. Not a whole lot going on in the way of entertainment or, or big sport venues or big social venues. It is very easy going. All right. So with that being said, though, if you want that tranquil, especially on the outskirts, um, you know, you can get to where you barely see people in Griffin if that is what you're desiring. So it can be very easy going. It can be very tranquil. It can really be what you want it to be, which I think is one of the you know main reasons why people look into Griffin when they're exploring different areas around the Atlanta metropolitan area. And pro number four is tons of acreage. If you're looking for acreage, if you want to be nowhere near your neighbor, uh, if you want five to ten acres of land, you definitely want to consider looking in Griffin, Georgia because you're going to get that. It is not hard to find homes, uh, middle aged to older homes, uh, that you know have five to ten acres of land easy. Okay, so if you're looking for that acreage, I would definitely tell you to explore Griffin, Georgia, because you're going to get to see that acreage um, on a wider scale, more options with acreage, not just like, you know, one or two houses with uh, big lots. No, just about every other older to mid-age home have at least three to four acres of land. And you can even find some brand new bills, which I posted in my previous video about living in Griffin. Uh, one acre lots, brand new homes. Uh, so it is so much more possibility to have acreage here in Griffin if that is what you're looking for. All right, let's move on over to our cons of living here in Griffin, Georgia. I'll get straight to it. Uh, the first one is poverty. Griffin, Georgia has a history of poverty. Uh, currently right now, the poverty rate is over 20%. Uh, here's one caveat with Griffin. Most of your poverty in Griffin is gonna be in the inner city or in the city limits of Griffin. When you get to the outskirts, things completely change. Um, you don't have a lot of poverty on the outskirts in the countryside, or if you do, you don't really see it. So here in the city limits of Griffin, it is not unusual to drive down the road and see dilapidated uh, homes in certain sections of uh, uh, Griffin. And that is just showing you that poverty. Uh, and then there are other neighborhoods of Griffin that you don't see that poverty. So just like with any other city, you're going to see neighborhoods that are a little bit, you know, lower class than, than others. But I will say that that is a con that uh, depending on how much money you have, you could find yourself near a high level of poverty here in Griffin uh, if you're looking at the inner city of Griffin, Georgia. However, keeping in mind the outskirts are completely different. Okay. Con number two. Con number two is overall the Griffin Spalding School District is not the best uh, school district at all. It is not ranked amongst the top five. Um, overall in literacy and readiness, uh, this school district here in Spalding County is actually underperforming the state. However, they are outperforming the state when it comes to the graduation rate. Uh, the state of Georgia graduation rate is 82.6% uh, here in uh, Spalding County uh, Griffin School District. It is 88.3. So there are some, some, some uh, strengths in the school district. I would just say this. If you are really considering looking at Griffin, Georgia and the Spalding County school districts I would say be prepared to supplement uh, your children's education with tutoring and enrichment programs uh, and maybe also be looking into pri private schools that's just my personal opinion uh, but that is where I would rank the school district here in uh, Griffin uh, Spartan County I do think that that is a con uh, the school district could be a little bit better uh, but they are trying to work on that school district uh, not the worst though not the worst school district in the Atlanta metropolitan area uh, but that's definitely a con in my opinion all right the last con is gonna be limited access to big brand names here in the city of Griffin um, in order to get like your best buy and some specialty big brand stores you're gonna probably have to drive over into McDonough Georgia which is not too far away probably about a 15 to 20 minute drive over into McDonough, but you, you'll you see that. You'll notice that when you move here to Griff, you will be missing some of those big box brand names that you are accustomed to. Also, with dining, uh, you're gonna have just a, your regular dining uh, restaurants. You're not gonna have a lot of five stars. You're not gonna have any five star restaurants here in Griffin that I'm aware of. Uh, but you can have a dinner out here on the uh, square, uh, just depending on your taste and it's depending on the level that you are expecting. You may not be able to find it here directly in 
uh, Griffin, Georgia. But Griffin is definitely well equipped to do the basic necessities, things like regular care. You should be fine, you should be good to go when it come to just your regular everyday living uh, here in Griffin, Georgia. Not a problem there. Uh, I mean, overall, I would just say that Griffin, Georgia is a great value for someone who's looking at a lower price point um, and who's okay with the rule. I will say the rural section of Griffin is a lot better than the inner city or the urban section of Griffin, uh, just overall, in my opinion. Uh, but I would definitely say it's a great place to consider. Do your own due diligence. This video is just to give you a starter on your due diligence here in Griffin, Georgia, living here. Uh, if you have any questions about anything that I've discussed, all of my contact information will be in the description below. So definitely feel free to reach out to me if you're looking to sell a home here in the Atlanta metropolitan area or buy a home here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Feel free to use me as a resource in that respect as well. I work with buyers and sellers every single day. My team and I stand ready to assist you in reaching your goals. Uh, whatever those goals may be so thank you for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button it costs you nothing help me get this channel up we're almost at 2,000 subscribers let's get it up to 2,000 uh by the end of this week so let's get to it uh and uh definitely feel free to use me as a resource and i hope you enjoy hanging out with me here in griffin georgia until next time you take care and i'll see you on the next one peace